This is how gas engineers carry out safe isolation on a boiler to Gas Safe Technical Bulletin 118A. Isolate the boiler from the power supply. Boilers can be installed on a plug top, but the socket shouldn't be switched. This is now isolated from the supply. If the boiler is fed with a fuse spur, isolate the fuse spur and remove the fuse. Now you can retain that in your pocket, but if it keeps the carrier in there, then you'll need to use a proved locking off kit, such as the spur lock, fuse spur locking out kit. Now, before we touch the boiler and the pipework, we need to carry out our safe to touch test. But first of all, we need to find a known supply. So we can use this socket and see to find out if this plug socket, which is feeding this boiler, is actually live and it's wired correctly. So we place the socket and see in, turn it on. The three green lights are now telling me the live neutral and earth are in the right way. And this final light is the earth loop impedance test. So it is telling us we have an earth. I can now prove my non-contact faulty indicator is working by going into the same known supply. I can now test the pipework underneath the boiler and the boiler itself. This is a plastic casing, so we don't do the front, but we need to do the rest of it. Now I need to go back to the known supply and test it again to make sure it's still working. So that's the safe to touch finished. Now we can look at safe isolation. Now let's take a look at the test equipment we're going to need. Now the first thing we need is a two pole tester, not a multimeter, because this will automatically tell us what voltage we've got, where a multimeter is, you've got to set it so you could make mistakes. We're also going to need a proving unit or some way of proving this on a known supply. Now, the two pole tester needs inspecting before we use it. So first of all, check and make sure there's no breaks in the cable. The actual device itself looks in good working order. And we touch the two ends together 